Soul Eater episodes 44 and 45. Maka and Soul are running up to the top of a mountain so that they can do soul resonance and Maka can search for Krona's soul. Meanwhile, Marie and Krona are wandering through the pointy forest. They do eventually stumble across Medusa's lair. And a giant stone falls on them, but Krona pushes Marie out of the way. Medusa and Stein are there like, ha 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 ha, we have outsmarted you. But Krona is like, got wings. <laughs> Blackstar and Tsubaki are running on ahead to take out the Kishin at Arachne's place. And Justin is fighting Giriko. But enough of that. Back inside the castle with Medusa and Krona and Stein and Marie. So there, they're like, we are not aligned with the school anymore, so we are allowed to take you out, Medusa. They're like, give us Stein back. And Medusa's like, don't be silly. He likes it with me. Medusa asks Krona what he hopes to accomplish by coming to this place. He says that he's come here for the sake of his friends. She's threatening his friend's happiness, so he has to stop her. And Maria's like, shut up everyone, we're trying to get Stein back. And Medusa's like, he's here because he's here on his own free will, he doesn't want to go with you. The whole time he's just been sitting there, like, head down, not reacting. Medusa reminds them that they can't hurt her because she's still possessing the body of a little girl. But she can hurt them! Marie decides that it's time to show Medusa what it's like to be up against a death scythe. And so Krona draws Ragnarok and the fight begins. Marie destroys the platform that Stein and Medusa were on, so they're separated. And as Krona attacks Medusa, she realizes that it's just a distraction tactic. Something else is going on. Medusa's like, Krona, I'm all you have. I raised you. I'm your mother. So she's just about to kill Krona when Marie jumps in and she's like, Oh, it's too late now, Medusa. But then Stein comes in front of Marie and it's like, You have to fight me first. But he's like, stone face crazy. And from his dream, he thinks that Marie's dead, so he can't really comprehend, like, why she's in front of him. So Medusa goes back to attacking Krona, while Marie is entirely distracted by Stein, who's now attacking her. So Stein goes into his head and has a wacky hallucination. Medusa shoots a wavelength at Krona that makes him out of sync with Ragnarok. So he can't harden himself for defense with the black blood anymore, so Medusa's like, I can kill you easily now! Rescued by Maka! Hi! <laughs> oh, that's the end of that episode. That went by really fast. So now we're in episode 45. Marie warns Maka not to hurt Medusa physically because of Rachel. But Maka's like, I don't care about that. So then the demon inside Soul is like, you know what to do, buddy, and then there's a piano. And so they're doing the team wavelength thing. Uh, Maka, Marie, and Krona as Sol plays the piano to increase their power. Maka attacks, but Stein blocks it. So Stein is an issue. Marie tells Krona and Maka to take care of Stein to restrain him, and then she'll she'll take over from there because she has some plan. Meanwhile, Black Star is still running through the forest, facing traps and junk. Anyway, so Maka and Krona are fighting Stein. Marie is trying to punch Stein with some kind of like magic light or something, maybe to help regain his sanity, but He's too fast for them. Medusa goes to attack Maka from behind when Krona jumps in front and gets sliced through the chest with an arrow. Because of what Medusa did earlier to make it so that um, Krona couldn't harden his blood, he's actually bleeding and in trouble right now. Krona's like, don't cry, Maka. This is actually making me really happy because I was able to help you. Hmm. Is Krona actually dead right now? Do I believe this? <laughs> anyway, Maka's really pumped now, regardless. Sol is trying to stop her, but the demon inside is like, nope, you can't get to her now because she's so focused. You have to give in to the black blood fully. So Maka even almost attacks Stein, but luckily Marie gets in the way and stops her and manages to fire some healing wavelength into Stein's body. So Stein gets better, and Marie hugs him, and it's so happy. And Stein's like, yo, sorry about that, guys. Oops. And so then Marie becomes his weapon, and as a Meister, he's going to fight against Medusa. And then Stein's like, no worries. Krona's still alive. 
first we have to defeat Medusa, and then we can save Krona. So then Stein and Maka did the tame residence thing. The plan is that Stein will distract Medusa, and then Maka will deal the finishing blow. She has to use that special anti-magic wavelength thing. That should defeat Medusa without harming the little girl's body. So Stein attacks, and then suddenly, whoa, Maka coming up out of nowhere, and she's doing the super special attack, the genie hunter. Well, bam, the little girl's body is purified, and uh, Medusa is expelled, and she's just like a floating, transparent version of herself outside of the little girl's body. Oh, P.S. She's also been cut in half. She's dead now. So as Medusa finally dies, for good, she says, that's cool that you were able to defeat me, but you won't be able to defeat the Kishin. So later on, Maka's like, Stein, I got this postcard from my mom and there's something written on it that I don't understand. Can you read it and tell me what it says? Apparently she just wrote down the word bravery. So everyone's standing there like, yeah, we did it. We've accomplished stuff. So Stein and Marie are going to go back to the school with Krona and the little girl. And Maka and Sol are going to go to the Kishin. And Stein is like, good luck. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the um, fortress of Arachne, they're worried about this one person who's coming through all of the traps and activating them, still getting by. Of course it's Black Star, but there is one more obstacle in his way, and that is Mifune. And that's the end! So admittedly, I wanted Stein to be crazy for more than just like three episodes, but okay. I mean, I don't think it's as bad as everyone keeps saying it is. Is it just because my expectations are so low? But I don't think this is that bad. I mean, it's not revolutionary or new or like, I'm not gonna remember it for the rest of my life, but it's not like so bad that I'm getting depressed. There are a couple of silly things going on that I don't love, but it's not, it's not awful. Next up, I'll be examining episodes 46 through 50. There's really not a lot of Soul Eater videos left. After that is the final episode, episode 51, which will just be an I'm watching. And of course, a, a series review. Anyway, I guess I'll see you for that. Bye.